So all the way from uh, the Netherlands, please welcome the B25, Mitchell Bob. First flight of this uh, was on the 19th of August 1940 and uh, eventually retired from service uh, last uh, used in Indonesia in 1979. at the end of 1989 by two Dutch pilots and uh, was embedded within the well-known Duke of Brabant's Air Force. Uh, but since that merged with the uh, Royal Netherlands Air Force historical uh, flight, has been uh, flying together with them since 2004. Continued uh, in Royal Military uh, Netherlands uh, flying school right up until 44 and then with 320 Squadron at uh, Valkenburg up until 1953. Powered by uh, two 1700 horsepower Wright uh, R2600 uh, 14 cylinder radial engines, a very distinctive sound there and of course incredibly uh, reliable uh, radial engines, a great family of uh, Wright engines these. Top speed of around 280 miles an hour, could climb up to uh, 21,000 feet with a range of around 1,500 miles. Without doubt, the most significant uh, story surrounding these uh, aircraft, however, is the famous Doolittle Raid. That was conceived by Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle and involved 16 B-25Bs attacking the mainland of Japan just four months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. A particular raid was a great boost uh, to the spirit of the Americans and also alarmed the Japanese who had thought that it was impossible to attack mainland Japan. the B-25 was originally designed to bomb from medium altitudes in uh, level flight. It was used frequently in the southwestern Pacific area. I've just heard uh, the cable uh, hands and voice of Rob Rickoff uh, sadly saying that uh, this is going to be his last pass. So they've come a long way for this uh, particular weekend. Uh, they can see you. So as he dips his wing towards you, please, uh, boys and girls, give him a big wave, won't you? Because uh, it's a rare sight to see this. And uh, we really appreciate them coming across the pond to uh, see us this weekend. And it also is great to see so much variety in an air display program as well. Uh, that's the uh, Mitchell signing off.